Hey everybody, this is Father Warner D'Souza and we are reflecting on the text of Matthew chapter 7 verses 6 and then again 12 to 14. The teachings of today are several smaller teachings strung together to form part of St. Matthew's Sermon on the Mount and to draw the sermon to a conclusion which we will see in verses 13 to 27. The sense of do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces is really unclear. The word holy or hagios translates from the Greek as different or unlike others. In the Old Testament, it also refers to sacrificial meat. We see this in the text of Exodus. In, new, in the New Testament, hagios or holy has a technical meaning indicating that one is different from the world. Hence, in this case, it means do not take the message of God which is different from the world and give it to dogs. The Jews contemptuously also call the Gentiles dogs and the Jews abhorred the pig. The message of Jesus is not to be understood as some racial slur but within the context of the Gospel of Matthew which had as its focus a Jewish audience. Hence, the message of the Kingdom of God meant for the chosen ones should be treasured like pearls which for the people of the Orient were far precious than diamonds or jewels. Remember the parable of the pearl of great price? In this lies a message for all of us. The word of God is holy. Its message is different from secular ideology and yet it lies dusty on our shelves. While we foolishly devour secular teaching with a great appetite than we do very often, with the word of God. Matthew also strings together another great teaching known as the golden rule. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. From a literary point of view, this is the end of the Sermon on the Mount, a summary of its contents and hence can be read as the pinnacle of the Sermon on the Mount. While several other religious and cultural traditions, including the Hellenists and the Sophists, held a very similar view, this teaching was always presented in the negative. The great Jewish rabbi Hillel said, don't do that. Confucius said, don't do to others what you don't wish done to you. The Stoics held that what you don't want done to you, don't do to anyone else. All these were always presented in the negative. Jesus gave this teaching a new perspective, a positive perspective. Do to others what you would have them do to you. Unfortunately, a masochist may wreak havoc with this rule. Hence, one must see this ethic as a balance of one's obligations, as one controlled by the notion of good. As receivers of God's blessings, we should be distributors of it. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope this reflection has helped you. And if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, may I request you to please do so. God bless you.